Nelson comes to the VA hospital in Gainesville as Congress demands answers to allegations of delays in treatment and preventable deaths of veterans. Nelson says the system is broken and needs to be fixed. We have an obligation to the people that we send off to war to wear the uniform of this country uh, to take care of them and to take care of their health care needs for life. He says he'd been working in Washington to tackle this issue, and today, Florida's senior senator got a first-hand look at one of the nation's VA hospitals. Senator Bill Nelson came to Gainesville this afternoon. Now, earlier, he joined with Senator Marco Rubio to propose a new law. It would give the VA secretary the power to terminate any top administrators who are found to be responsible for health care failures at the hospitals. Channel 4's Tark Minor talked with Senator Nelson and with veterans in Gainesville. <laughs> Senator Bill Nelson says he met with top officials here at the VA hospital in Gainesville and learned that two veterans have died because they didn't get the treatment they needed in a timely manner. In the words of the senator, heads will roll. Heads are going to roll. When it comes down to any kind of dispute like this, I take the side of the veteran. Senator Bill Nelson's visit to the VA hospital in Gainesville lasted less than one hour. But it's all the time he needed to make the determination that the VA's problems start at the top. There's something wrong in the system, and it looks like from my visit to Tampa and now Gainesville hospitals that it's somewhere up in the bureaucracy. Nelson says he's learned that the computer software used by VA hospitals is outdated and may have also contributed to the long wait times and secret waiting lists alleged at some facilities. The senator says he does not support the termination of Veteran Affairs Secretary Eric Shinshecki, saying the problem is bigger than him. I think for five and a half years, he has been trying to tackle this Goliath bureaucracy and to get it to move beyond slow motion. Nelson says Gainesville's facility is understaffed and it needs more space to accommodate the demands. Gainesville's VA saw more than 38,000 veterans over the past four years. The veterans we spoke with had mixed feelings on whether Nelson's visit will bring about any change. I think it's a waste of time. Um, I mean, all this investigation, you know, like I said, just give them more staff and it can happen. And, and I mean, that's, that's, that's the solution to me. I'm sure that, there, that there's something more to that than just, than just uh, what people are talking about on the surface. Because I've never seen the VA do anything, schedule any appointments or operations or any, on myself or anybody else that they didn't go all the way 100 percent. Nelson says he has every indication from Washington, D.C. that this new legislation will be signed next week. He says if top executives are found guilty of mismanagement, they will lose their jobs. In Gainesville, I'm Tarek Miner, Channel 4, The Local Station.